My goal of my videos now is I want it to be about focusing on transforming my life in my 30s, mainly because that's where I'm at now. A lot of things that I did in my 20s necessarily aren't things that align with me now or I just have different values that I want to go towards more so than I did in my 20s. And I think that's okay. But I think it's like getting into the motion of what does that look like for you and how to start doing that. The job that I have now is per diem. And I love working per diem just because I can create my own schedule and I don't have to work Monday through Friday. And I never want to work Monday through Friday. And I realized that while I build my dream life, I also want to make sure I have income coming in that's stable. And I think everyone has to find what works for them. Like if you want to create your own business, like you have to find what works for you. If that means going back and living with your parents or if that means and then creating your business that way or if that means like leaving your job and living off your savings to build your business. I think you have to find what works for you because I, I want to say I got excited about that notion of the great resignation because like i left for health reasons but i can see where it's just like if i did leave because i was just like fuck it i'm done with the nine to five how that could have really just impacted me even more negatively because i was anticipating a specific outcome that i didn't see so what I'm doing now, I enjoy the work that I do compared to before. And I think that's another thing to look out for, like especially if you're looking to find some more fulfillment in your life and not just necessarily doing things for a paycheck. But finding a job that aligns with your values is truly important. And I realized like when I left healthcare that I actually enjoy healthcare, even though it does have its toxic traits in it. I, just, I still enjoy the field. It's just something that I'm used to being in and I enjoy being in it and I could still grow and learn. But I also know that I also wanna create my own income and I also want financial freedom and I don't want to end up doing a nine to five for the rest of my life. And it's like finding what works for you and finding how that looks because I think sometimes we think there's like a one size fits all and there isn't. And even as I do my YouTube channel, in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing this wrong. Like, this is not how it's supposed to be done. But not everything works the same way for everybody. And I know for me, like my brain just jumps from A to Z to B to D to R to, to Z. Like, it just doesn't function like A, B, C, T. It just doesn't. Like, it just jumps from one thing to the next. And... I want to be able to share my journey in a way that works for me and maybe that means it won't reach a lot of people and that's fine but i also want to document the journey for myself of just seeing how i grow and how i progress forward with actually staying consistent with something so i think anyone who's just like wanting to change any aspect of their lives like I feel like sometimes we put so much pressure on having things done correctly in our 20s to where it's like if you're in your 30s and you didn't do what you were supposed to do in your 20s, like you're, pr you're pretty much ruined for the rest of your life. And you see so many people now in their 50s and their 60s, 70s, like recreating themselves and just doing things differently and just exploring what they want. And honestly, I just want to reach that point now. Like I don't want to wait until I'm 40 to then realize no one even cared in your 30s or not feel like, oh, because like I went a certain route that now I'm screwed in my 30s and for the rest of my life. And it's just like everyone's journey is different. And I think you just sharing your journey of what's happened and how you were able to just like maneuver around that could just help someone else. My goal is to just like really focus on wellness and mindset just because I feel like sometimes we limit ourselves of what we could actually accomplish and what our actual goals are. And I feel like I do feel like many times we play small without even possibly realizing that we're playing small and stepping out of that comfort zone and getting out of your head and just creating and focusing on what you want to do with your future is so important and not listening to what everyone else is saying around you, but really listening to yourself of what you want for your life. I also want to express that I honestly don't like this is my personal opinion but I really don't think nine to fives are going to be sustainable in the future especially because if we haven't like progressed with the cost of inflation and pay by now I don't see where we're going to have that in the future and now that we have kids being able to make money by the time they're like three years old hell by the time they come out the vagina they're making money like I just see that the only way to protect my financial future 
is to make sure I create my own source of income. I, I just feel very nervous relying on a job or relying on the government in any way, shape or form to pay me adequately for the cost of living. And leaving New York was probably the best thing that I ever did because I can't imagine paying $3,000 for rent. Like that just is mind boggling to me where if we're here at $3,000 for rent, then where the hell are we going to be in 10, 15 years from now? And are we going to have paychecks to where they're like $7,000? Like, like, come on. It's just like, I just feel like the cost of living is way too high for a lot of nine to five jobs to be able to sustain that. And I just feel like that that gap is just going to only get bigger. Part of me just really wants to be able to live my life the way I want to live it and do what I want to do. And I think that's another thing of finding out like, okay, like, is the life I am I able to live the life I want to live doing this job? Like, can I do that? And I don't think everything is all about work and creating money. I really don't. I think there are, it's important to know like what you can contribute to the world, and it's important to make sure that you have like your finances in order and what you want and what you don't want, and knowing the kind of life you want to live so that way you know what kind of income you have to make to maintain that lifestyle. But I don't agree in working nonstop. I, I get productivity, but I feel like sometimes productivity is really toxic because it's like you should be working, 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 working. And I, I just don't believe that's the case. Like for me personally, like I've learned to set work boundaries just because at my last job, I they really tried to enhance work life balance. They really did try. But it was just like the work that was coming in wasn't sustainable for that to happen. And for me personally, like I just never care for a job where I'm working overtime because I'm not on this planet to just keep working. And then knowing how patients end up in the hospital because they're not taking care of their health, because they're putting their job first, is not something that I care to do, especially if I watched it happen. So mainly is is more so of protecting my future and of what I want for my life and what I want that to look like because I want to have a happy and fulfilling life and it's not always about money but money does play a role in how you are able to get the life that you want so one thing that definitely helps remind me when I'm going through times of like feeling like stuck or not knowing what direction to take mainly just when I go through those stages of feeling stuck and feeling like giving up and be like, no, I guess this is just meant for me. It's like I remind myself of what I want. And if I can't get what I want with what I have, then I clearly have to find something different to do. And it doesn't mean that you're unsatisfied with your life because I'm very happy with where my life is right now because I have a roof over my head. I'm able to record videos. I'm able to figure out what it is I want to do with my future. Like I live in a safe community. Like there's nothing externally wrong. And I think it's more so of wanting internal happiness and what that looks like and how to get that. And that also means going through like uncomfortability phases of uncovering like what's stopping you from get, getting there and doing that. So I, I also want to stress the fact that it's, yeah, it's not that I don't like nine to five jobs. I just found that it's not for everybody. And then you have to find what works for you of how to get to your desired dream life of what that looks like. So like my goal is to just only share my journey. I, I've realized like every time I've watched people and I anticipated my journey to go the same and it doesn't, like it definitely brings you down, but then you have to remember that you guys have two separate journeys that you're taking. and. Just because you did something that someone else did, like you guys still also have so many different other factors that you cannot and you cannot have the same journey as someone else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, I definitely want to try a new style of recording videos because I definitely do want to share my journey, but it's like finding what way works best for me and what way that also works best for you guys. And thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of it. Um, if you're along this journey too of just like really wanting to change things in your life and just making active progress in doing so, definitely comment below um, how that journey is going for you because everyone's journey is different. So uh, again, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye guys.